Welcome to this demonstration showcasing EMC's backup and recovery technologies for Microsoft Exchange and SharePoint Server. Demonstration is one in a series of demos as part of an EMC proven system, which also includes a detailed paper providing techniques, deployment and performance test results. This particular demonstration will cover removing, deleting and restoring an entire SharePoint content database in an active SharePoint form in a quick and simple fashion from a deduplicated backup using Avamar version 6. Welcome to SharePoint Content DB Restore using Avamar 6. This is the Avamar GUI. We're choosing Backup and Restore. You can see the previous backups that have been done uh, based on the yellow in the calendar. Uh, as you can see on the 16th there was no backup. And the last one was on the 17th for that server. And you choose the backup number. You can go into the form and you can choose the specific content DB that you want. So what we're going to do is a worst case scenario. We start by going and browsing to the site and subsite for content DB8. Now we're browsing into a subsite and we'll be able to view the documents in that subsite. As you can see, there's a number of documents. We're going to go into Application Management in Central Administration and remove the database. Now this is a scenario, normally you would just leave it there and if something bad happens to the database on the SQL side, you can restore it and it would still be there. But in this case, we're going to remove it from SharePoint as well as from SQL. So you go into the Database Properties. and you choose to remove the content database. As you can see, content DB8 has disappeared, has been removed from SharePoint. And if we try and browse to it, we'll get an error. Now in SQL Server Management Studio, we're going to detach that content database, content DB8. So it's no longer in SQL Server Management Studio and SQL Server doesn't have that database at all. And now we're going to go one step further. We're going to go to the actual database file diff, and delete it and we'll do the same for the log file, the LDF file. The database no longer exists. And now we're going to go into the Avamar GUI and choose that content DB8 and start the restore. We're going to restore it back to its original location using the SharePoint VSS uh, plugin and give the farm administrator cred credentials to Avamar. At this point we can enable debugging messages for VSS but we don't need to do that. We've chosen no encryption, so we just click OK. And this will bring up a dialog box that will warn you that you will be overwriting production data. In the case that you didn't delete the database and log file, it will overwrite. So the restore is starting. 
and the job has been kicked off. Now we go into Activity Monitor and we'll see that the restore job is starting. That's the last job that's saying waiting client and restore that I've just highlighted. And there we can see it running. And we fast forward and the job is done after just over 30 minutes. So now we go back to SQL Server and we can see the log file is restored. The database file has been restored as well. Now if we go into SQL Server Management Studio and do a refresh, we'll see that ContentDB8 has been automatically added to the SQL Server, so we don't have to do that. Evermore's taken care of that. And then we go into Central Admin, and since we deleted it from here, we're going to have to add it again. As I said before, if you don't remove it from SharePoint, but it gets removed from SQL Server, if you add it again, it will automatically add in SQL Server, and it will still exist here. You wouldn't have to do anything. So there we've added Content DB8, and you can see it's visible in there. And if we go through all the site collections, we'll see that site 08 is there. And it has all of the same attributes that all of the other sites have. Now we're going to do a refresh on that site 08. And we see that it's and let's see if we can browse to the subsites and see the documents. And there they are. Successful restore. Thank you for watching this video as part of a series of videos for the solution. We invite you to view the other videos relating to the solution. You can also download the white paper that contains the extensive test data and other very useful information relating to backup and restore of Microsoft Exchange and SharePoint to Avamar and Data Domain.